Hong Kong is a gateway to the Chinese mainland thanks to the city's unique strengths including its extensive Asian network and free port status. American companies are among those finding solid opportunities in Hong Kong. This flow of business is now gaining momentum under the Pacific Bridge Initiative. Launched by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council with the U.S. and Foreign Commercial Service, the agreement supports Washington's National Export Initiative by fostering U.S.-Hong Kong partnerships. Thank you. The Savannah College of Art and Design is one U.S. organization setting up business in Hong Kong. Also known as SCAD, the private university has offered arts degrees since it was established in 1978. In September 2010, SCAD opened its first Asian campus in Hong Kong because it considered the city to be the best place in Asia to study digital media. The institution now offers globally recognized courses in that subject to students from around the world. SCAD Hong Kong's Vice President John Paul Rowan says that's only the beginning. We're really thrilled to welcome in right 150 students from 20 different countries around the world. Really as far as we have students from Jamaica and Canada and the US and the UK all descending upon Hong Kong and in this amazing neighborhood of Sham Shui Po. And really we're able to take this old courthouse and bring new life and new energy into it and turn it into our arts and design university. So it's been a really incredible journey for us. We've been thrilled to welcome all these students from again all over the world here to Hong Kong and help to make Hong Kong truly a global education hub. What are some of the specific programs available to students in Hong Kong? SCAD really is one of the largest art and design universities in the world, one of the most diversified degree offerings anywhere in the world. Here in Hong Kong, we're really focused on the digital media, so things like visual effects, motion media, game design. Those are really at the heart of what we're trying to do here in Hong Kong, and we think that really plays into where Hong Kong as a city is going and the service industry and where that's really growing here in Hong Kong. We also see that there's tremendous growth growth within those fields in all of Asia. So you see this really playing in very well with the growing demand for jobs and the growing demand of interest that we've seen here in Hong Kong. So why did SCAD choose Hong Kong as the place for its first branch in Asia? We looked around all of Asia um, and really experimented and really delve into a number of different cities and just kept coming back to Hong Kong. Every time we came here, there was this life and a vibrancy to the city. It really just impressed us as a university. And then also having this type of historic property for us to come into worked very well. And we have a very, very long history with redevelopment of historic properties. Uh, we have over 110 facilities around the world that we've renovated and brought back together and uh, turned into Arts and Design University. And so when this opportunity came up, it just flowed really well with our mission and our values uh, and our desire to really expand to Asia. So everything fell in well and we just love Hong Kong. Well, what are some of the key benefits of being in Hong Kong for businesses like SCAT? There is definitely for U.S. companies uh, an ease of establishment here. You know, for us, we're a nonprofit organization, a charity organization. There's great protection and a great legal system for that that mirrors a lot of things that we're traditionally used to in the U.S. It's an easy city. So personally, moving here from the U.S., it's very easy to get established. It's very easy to get your identification cards. It's very easy to set up. And you know, the tax system is very simple for an outsider to understand. You know, all of those living difficulties that sometimes can really be a challenge when you're moving to a foreign country, Hong Kong really makes it easy for you. Now SCAD has already signed agreements to supply student interns to some of Hong Kong's major enterprises, companies like VTech or GOD. How important is that kind of experience for students? It's incredibly important. Um, we really focus ourselves on preparing talented students for careers in the arts. That is the mission of the university. And behind that, for us, it is setting up these career opportunities for our students. You know, within art and design education, we really see that these students, they want to do this for the rest of their lives. They want to be practicing designers, practicing artists. And so how do you do that? Well, you have to find a job in that field so you can really pursue your passion. And so we feel it's part of the university's responsibility to reach out to these companies and then to really help facilitate those relationships. We've been very welcomed here in Hong Kong. There's been an incredible reception for us from employers of ours that we've had for many, many years in the past that are excited about these new opportunities and new employers that are just looking to us for the first time what can SCAD offer? What can SCAD graduates do for my company? So it's very, very important to us as a university to help start to make those relationships, to help start to bridge that gap for the students. Well, of course, students are planning ahead. Educators must do the same. 
What's on the horizon for SCAD Hong Kong? Our biggest goals have always been just opening this building and getting the first students in. Now that we've accomplished that, we definitely are starting to look at how do we grow. We have in the U.S. over 110 different degree programs and here in Hong Kong we only have 13 at this point. So we're seeing that there's a lot of interest for a lot of our degree programs that we don't currently offer here. And so we're trying to figure out what's the most logical sense for us to grow and keep expanding, to offer things that the marketplace is really demanding and has a lot of interest in what we SCAD can do and offer and how that plays out with what the Hong Kong city and the Hong Kong government's looking to grow. Um, so we're definitely looking at ways to continue to grow and expand and um, build our presence in Hong Kong.